hello welcome to this video in this video we will learn how to use the MSP 430F 5529 LP microcontroller and uh, as you can see the microcontroller will come uh, in this box and uh, with an anti-static plastic and after cutting cutting it uh, inside the microcontroller uh, will look like this uh, it has a large number of GPIOs and it has many other uh, many, many features available and uh, I am not discussing uh, all those features since you can readily see all those features uh, from the from the official uh, data sheet or the website and I will put a uh, link down below to see the, the, data, the data sheet and the official uh, the official site uh, and uh, so now here we will learn how to uh, use the Ener Energia ID to uh, to program this microcontroller and uh, we will uh, install install the, the energy id the drivers and then we will uh, we will learn how to code it so let's see uh, but before moving on to the computer screen uh, first of uh, first of all let us uh, see how to, to connect it to the computer and uh, we we see that that uh, we can use any of the of our standard mobile phone uh, mobile phone usb chargers just connect it here and uh, plug in it, uh, plug in it that, uh, this port to one of my USB of USB female of my computer, and then now open the device manager, and now you, you can see that uh, the MSP application UART and MSP debug interface both are treated as unknown devices. So now uh, we need to install the, the drivers uh, for making this uh, compatible, and so now uh, let us install them. So as you can see, uh, this is the MSP430 microcontroller, and, uh, and uh, this is the, uh, the, the the launchpad development kit user's guide. I'll put a link down uh, down this uh, of this PDF in the description below. Uh, please ignore this black uh, black desktop widgets. Please ignore ignore this. Sorry for that. And uh, you can you can read this uh, read this for for better details. Uh, you might uh, use the Code Composer Studio in the future for. Uh, for uh, better using the uh, all the, the, the hardware, uh, but for simplicity, we will now uh, just use the, the energy ID. The energy ID can be downloaded for uh, for free. Uh, in the uh, it can be downloaded for free here. In, uh, I am typing energy for Windows. And see, uh, it is the, the energy ID. You can download that energy ID from here. And uh, now, uh, after and I right now I have installed that in, in, in installed that, that that ID here and see this is the the, the ID ID here the red color ID similar to that of the Arduino. And now I am I am plugging in the uh, pl pl plugging in this uh, the MSP430 and uh, keeping uh, keeping open the the device manager. I plugged in. See. MSP application UART and MSP debug interface both are treated as unknown devices. So you will have to install that the driver for it. And in the internet you might find a video from Texas Instruments about using the, the hardware. Uh, I will also put a link for this video. But this video does not show about uh, how to install the, the drivers for it. So I will now, now show how to install the, the drivers here. And uh, uh, in, you will have to open this website. Uh, on which side? Uh, so this is the this is the uh, the, the website uh, of Texas Texas Instruments, uh, which which gives a, a guide a guide to the to the launch pad, and uh, below here, uh, see these are uh, written as ins installing the drivers, and so I will uh, install a driver for for Windows. And uh, my my microcontroller is. Uh, 430F 5529LP. So I will uh, just open open this and download the launchpad, uh, the the launchpad driver. And so I will have to download it. And so I'll uh, so I'll have to click on OK. But I have already already downloaded that, and uh, it will come come as a, as a as a zip file. And after extracting the the zip file, uh, you can see that uh, I have. Already extract extracted that in a, in a folder in a, in a folder called driver in in, in desktop. You can name any fo any folder. You just need to uh, you just need to e extract all those uh, all those uh, contents of the zip file in a in, 
in 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 any way you want. I have for for in for this I have uh, chosen desktop uh, to ext extract extract and paste paste it there. And so we have now to install. So now open this device device manager. Click on uh, double click on this update driver. Browse my software manually. And since it is present in desktop, we'll uh, just uh, we will just enter the the lo browse location as desktop and uh, click next. It will automatically find the drivers and see it, it has finished installing the drivers for the software. And secondly, the debug interface will have to perform the same uh, browse or browse from the uh, computer and see this is also has finished installing the drivers software for the device. Okay, so everything is now is now working properly. So both are installed and keep a keep, keep a note of this. Uh, the com the com number of this uh, of this uh, MSP application you want one uh, you right now don't have to, uh, to to keep an eye of the debug interface right now just keep an eye for the for the MSP application you want one com number this is the com port so I will now open the energy ID um, in the energy ID open uh, examples basics link oh it is already open in my background. Okay, now I'll now open and see this is the, the required link sketch. And in the tools, you will have to select the board as MSP for 430F5529LP. And uh, port is COM port as you saw before. Port is COM port, and then we we'll have to click on upload. See, as we up and one thing I forgot to mention here that in this board. Uh, as as you are seeing the, 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 uh, these jumpers here, uh, your board must have uh, all these jumpers uh, in the right position, and uh, and, uh, and and these these two jumpers which you are seeing are uh, which are kept open must be kept open in your board too, and uh, all those jumpers which are kept sorted must be kept sorted in in your in your board. Otherwise, it will it might generate error. And so now, uh, if I uh, press upload upload here, it will uh, compile and it will upload and the red LED here will flash 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 flicker and flicker a bit and then it will show a success a success message and then you can see the LED is blinking so we have successfully uh, compiled and burned our first sketch in this MSP430 microcontroller so you can now play, play with, with different uh, delay values and uh, blink, the, blink the LED and uh, and as I told that I I will now uh, that I will uh, put a link in the description about the, the different uh, different materials uh, you can read and uh, this is the the, uh, the development kit user guide and uh, this is the, uh, the 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 pin map and this is the, the pin mapping you can you can see see from that from that same same website where you have downloaded the the drivers for it and this pin mapping is, is extremely useful for for getting the the pin diagrams and uh, it and then this and this is the, the official the official data sheet of the microcontroller and uh, energia energia is a simple software uh, like like arduino and it supports and it supports lots of libraries lots of libraries that are compatible with the with the data are similar to the to, to the arduino and uh, is made compatible with this board too and uh, in, in a future project, I will try to attach sensors using, uh, using the ADC of uh, using the ADC of this microcontroller, and then we will use software serial to transfer those data to Node MCU and upload those data to a ThingSpeak ThingSpeak cloud uh, or or any any other cloud uh, as as we, as we can as we may like. And so here I will I am ending this video now, and uh, and we will we will see see may see next time uh, interfacing. Uh, various sensors and node, node MCU with this microcontroller. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like, please hit the like button and uh, the subscribe, the subscribe, the, the, the subscribe button. Thank you.